Robin Cooper. So, hello. London, how are you? All the best. Over. You reading over? Yes. Hello, Mr. Cooper. You are live on the radio. This is the Tim Heidecker Office Hours Live. It's a show broadcast out of uh, Glendale, California, which is just uh, north of Los Angeles, if you're familiar with that area. And we're taking calls from around the I've been told. I've been told it's in, um, uh, it's in, it's in America, the United States of America. God bless you all. Yes, that is correct. Uh, and yes. Ro- Robin, you are, uh, yes. you are in England, correct? Pardon? Yes, I'm in England, London. I, over, I don't need to say over on this anymore, do I? Because the technology is advanced. It is, over. No, I don't need to say over. No, exactly. It's just like a telephone call, essentially. Um, how are things in England, in London? What's happening over there in your uh, neck better. of the woods? Well, I don't know if you know, but at the moment, there's an, it, there's an illness going around that we have yes. in these shores. And... Uh, I don't have it yet, but Mike Broccoli had it, and his wife Lillian had it. Their daughter had it. Her name is either Lisa or Geesa, but I don't think it's Geesa. Mike Broccoli? <laughs> Mike or Broccoli, but B R O C A L E I G H. Broccoli. And uh-huh. that, it's getting better. It's not actually a funny message because it's not actually a laughing um matter because they were very ill yeah. and uh, Gisa or it might be Lisa was um it's probably she, Lisa she, it was probably Lisa she vomited and it was not a nice she said to me here it was not a nice experience over no, no. wow so next you, question please <laughs> so you you know people that have suffered from this disease. It's terrible. How has the, aside from knowing people, how has sort of the quarantine affected you, Robin? Uh, from, how has it changed your daily life? We had grilled salmon on yesterday, which was nice. Um, we don't normally grill it. Actually, often it gets thrown away because we forgot to eat it then. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was very pleasant. Otherwise, I made a map of my local area. Uh, You've made a map because, of your local area? Yeah, I've started making a map of the local area because where we were, we were, we were we because because when we were walking um, they had, uh, in, around the local area, we noticed there was a couple of gulls. I don't know if you have gulls in America. They're sort of, well, they're birds. And I know you have birds in yeah. America. They're large white birds, but they were congregated via bench. So we thought we should mark that, at least for posterity. I mean, the government aren't interested. I've tried to get funding. You're, you're marking. You gotta mark so that. you're marking where doves are in the, in the park? No, not doves, gulls. Do you know a oh, seagull? Oh, seagulls. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we always have them by the beaches, by the beach areas, like where the oceans are. Yes, of course, yes. Well, they like that environment because they're a little worm. They're called willoughby worms, I believe. They get them. But also sometimes they eat people's food, for example. I was once by the beach and the man, and, but it was quite too hot, really. Yeah. <laughs> So you're, so you made over. No. Yeah, you're, you've made a map. Uh, just to clear, clarify, Robin, you've made a map of your local area, and in, on the map is a park, and you've indicated on the park where seagulls have been. Correct? Yeah, well, it's not a park. I didn't mention park. Um, I said, I listen to rewind. I said there's a bench. In a bench. bench. These birds. I guess. Bench. I apologize. When I heard bench, I assumed we were talking about a park, but this is just somewhere. Off the road or on the road or on the sidewalk? This is by a road. Uh, it's actually near a friend of mine. Ian Bradley lives there. He hasn't had the disease, though, but he he lost a finger. A man bit it off about three years ago. A man? They had a, a, Sorry, a man, a man bit a, it off. Oh, God, yes. a, a man bit his, his finger off? <laughs> is that what you're telling they me? They had an altercation outside the library, and... I don't know exactly what it was, but it was actually an argument about life, I think. And a man just suddenly seized my friend, Mr. Bradley, and 
bit his finger clean off. Funny enough, he said he felt no pain. <laughs> Which finger? Wow. Uh, it was the middle finger. Oh, God. Not the middle one, the little one. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. But they said... Well, they said it would grow back, but it hasn't grown back. It, he no. lives in hope. No one has the heart to tell him, and he doesn't have the internet. So That's irresponsible to say that it's going to grow back. I think any edu- semi-educated person understands that that's not uh, possible. People need hope, Tim. They need blue angels, and that's they need true. hope. Well, yes, it's very true. That, that man that spoke then, was there any your name then? What is your name, Philip? Uh, Doug, that's Doug talking back there. Doug, right. Yeah, whatever you said then, I've forgotten it. Well, it, listen. Uh, it something I would always stay with me. Robin, I appreciate you calling in. Do you have any words of uh, hope or words of uh, encouragement for us over here in America or for yes, your fellow uh, countrymen? A, 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 I could do a little poem for you. For yes. You to lift everyone's spirit. That would be wonderful. Um, in times like these, don't be sad. Even though the time is sad, it's not that bad. Although I understand why you're sad. We live in hope. Things can only improve as the saying goes. God bless you all. Three cheers for us all. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. (laughs) That was a beautiful poem. It might help people a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we'll post that. How are you? How are you doing? (laughs) Oh, we're fine. You know, we've just been doing the show and... uh, Trying to keep busy, keeping up. Uh, you know, I have children, so I'm keeping them kind of educated and everything like that. So, and how is your president, President Blake, doing? President what? I can't remember his name. President Blake. <laughs> president Blake. How is President Blake doing for you in America? President Blake. It's President Trump. President Trump. No, no, I think it's actually President Blake. You'll find if you look it up properly. Well, I heard he wasn't doing a very good job, President Blake. Which, um, <laughs> uh, well, there's been, yes, uh, we're not fans of President Trump here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he's doing a terrible job. He's a terrible person, terrible man. Yeah, he's terrible at his job. President Blake, yeah, nope. uh, it's pointless <laughs> sometimes because I think we're talking on cross purposes. It's President Blake, definitely, because it says it here. President Blake, and he hasn't been doing a good job. Well, I wish you all well. All right. Thank you, Robin. Uh, sending lots of love over there to the UK and to all the, all of your friends and family. All the best. God bless you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. That was the great Robin Cooper.